Excellent. Good evening. Thank you all for participating in my this mitzvah celebration. I greatly appreciate all of your effort and time to join me on my special day. I know it's not the kind of event I was expecting a number of years ago. However, we have to make the most of what there is. Thank God I have the merit to share my very special and happy moments without any boundaries and limitations and to connect to many people from so many different countries. We have here friends and family from England, Brazil, America, Israel, Russia and France and hopefully no Zoom bombers from different countries that I'm unaware of. My parents always told me that I was born with a microphone in my hand and therefore they suggested that I should use my talents and take to the stage. To every chassid and especially to Shluchan, there is one person who is the most inspirational role model and leader, the Lubavitcher Rebbe. The Rebbe sent my tati and mommy to Liverpool to be his emissaries here in the universities. We spent over a decade here in Liverpool spreading the warmth of Judaism and to be an open house 24 seven to so many students. Ladies and girls, please turn your attention to the screen for a video for the, of the Rebbe speaking about Bas Mitzvah. So again, Und ob du Drupeche zugeben noch mehr in dem Schaf von den Eltern, was haben sie umgeordnet in dem Weg, als sie sollen haben, das ist das Loch in dem Kino von den Kindern echt später und das ist das Loch in aller Seele in Joni und an der Heise sollen sein, die richtige Heise, welche der Rebbe versorgt, was er bemigdet. Beschachamte Bissei Chom, in jeder jüdischen Huis, in der Wart in der Huis, wo sie zugekommen sind, an Bar Mitzvah, an der Abbas Mitzvah, wird so das Anayel Eifen, in Limburg, der Teil und die Kima Mitzvah, an der Anayel Eifen, in der Mäbischen Schar, in allen, in was man nicht gesagt, sei begaschmi, sei beruchlich ist. My daughter's back in this for party today. We come from Florida. Shlomo is on me. Yeah, it was a very good idea to put on the table of all the in between. You got it. It's not a charity for back. And you show an example by putting yourself the first dollar. That was giving you another dollar for the charity box. That's a new system. Yes. That will give also the charity box of you. Six years in Bas Mitzvah, good news. I'm going to share with you Bas Mitzvah. I'm going to share with you Bas Mitzvah. I'm going to share with you היום רביעי הבקמיצה שלי, ואני רוצה ברכה לגדול בחינוך היהודי והנכון. אני רציתי לברכה ביום הרביעי, כי יהיה בת יותר כשרה והצלחה רבה. שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.שלום.
This is the letter that the Rebbe would send to bas mitzvah girls. Um, blessings and greetings. In response to your letter, in which you write that you have reached the age of 12, which is the time of bas mitzvah, may it be God's will that you wholeheartedly accept upon yourself the yoke of the kingdom of heaven and the yoke of the mitzvahs. May Hashem grant you success in your studies and in your conduct, and may you grow up to be worthy of being called a daughter of Chabad, in keeping with the desire of our holy rebbers of blessed memory. May you influence your friends too in this direction by speaking to them, and even more so by being a living example of a daughter of Israel who is educated in the ways of Hasidim. And this will bring you happiness, both spiritual and material, with blessings and the Rebbe's signature. Thank you. Thanks so, so much, Mavi, for reading the Rebbe's letter. We have a family friend who is the Chabad Rebbetson in Salvador, Brazil. She, her husband and family have built a nice community from the very beginning with such dedication and warmth. They live in a desolate place without any Jewish education, kosher food, and all the necessities that we take for granted. I would like to ask Mrs. Bucket to share some words of wisdom in honor of my best wishes of celebration. Hello. Yeah, sorry, confusion about the names. Um, okay, Mazel Tov Rifki. Thank you so much for asking me to speak to you on your bas mitzvah. Such an honor. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what exactly happens on the day of a bas mitzvah. We know that everyone is born with a soul, with an ashama. But on the day of a girl's bas mitzvah and on a boy's bar mitzvah, a special extra soul is given to her or him. And that's what's happening tonight on your bas mitzvah, on your birthday, Rifki. You are receiving tonight an extra soul. This is called a neshama elikis. Until the 12th birthday, the neshama elikis, the special extra soul, the godly soul, is sort of there, but it's not really inside us. But now tonight it's going inside you and it's going to help you and give you extra strength to really do what you have to do, to learn Torah, to do mitzvahs, to behave the way a young Jewish lady behaves. And I'm going to connect what we learn in this week's parasha, this week's Torah portion that Jews all over the world read and study this week with your bas mitzvah. In this Torah portion, which is called Toldos, we learn that Yitzchak, Isaac, one of the patriarchs, one of the others, was born, is the son of Abraham, the son of Abraham. And then a bit later it says, and Abraham is the father of Isaac. Abraham is the father of Yitzchak. And a very obvious question is, why do we have to hear that twice? The Torah doesn't waste words just to say things again. Obviously, there's something really important that we need to learn from the fact that the Torah tells us twice that Yitzchak is the son of Avraham. And the Kabbalah, the Kabbalah tells us that Yitzchak was the son of Avraham. Yeah, he was born, Avraham was his father. But when Yitzchak became an adult, it became obvious to everyone that not only is Yitzchak the son of Avraham physically, but also spiritually, in the very deepest, most spiritual place inside him, Yitzchak was the son of Avraham. He was going to continue Avraham's mission in this world. What was Avraham's mission? The first Jew. He's the one who taught the world about monotheism, that the fact that there's only one God, that we're not to serve idols, that Hashem created the world. He's the one who taught the world. And when Yitzchak became an adult, it was clear to everyone that he was really the son of Abraham. He was really going to continue his father's mission. He was made of the same stuff as his father Abraham. And he did continue. He did continue teaching the world. So my bracha to you, my blessing to you, Rifki, tonight is, we heard before you mentioned so nicely how your parents went to Liverpool universities to bring the warmth of Judaism and of Hasidus to Liverpool universities, to all the Jewish students there. And you are going to continue their example. 
You are going to show us all tonight, at this moment when you become a Jewish adult, because Bas Mitzvah is a Jewish adult, you're going to show us all that not only are you the daughter of your father and your mother, maybe you look like them, you know, you were born to them, but you're a real daughter to your parents. The same Messiris Nefesh, the same dedication, the same love for Yiddishkeit, the love for Torah and mitzvahs that your parents have and that your parents transmit to everyone around them, you're going to do that as well. You will, you already do. And you're going to do it even more now with the addition of this special Nefesh kiss, the special extra Neshama, which you are now receiving tonight. So I bless you that we should all continue to see how you grow up to be a true Bas Chabad, as we saw in the Rebbe's blessing, that we just saw the video just now, how the Rebbe blessed girls. They should really be a true Bas Chabad. What's a Bas Chabad? A girl, a woman who teaches the world the beauty of Torah and mitzvahs. And you will continue to do us all proud. Mazel tov, mazel tov, mazel tov to your family, mazel tov to you. And I'm so happy to be celebrating together with you. It's not, you know, it's not obvious when you're far away to celebrate together with people, but because of Zoom, we're able to. So thank you so much for inviting me, Rifki. Mazel tov. Thank you. Thanks you so, so much, Mrs. Bookit. Those are really inspiring words and I'll remember them for a long time. For the past year, I've been learning the violin and I've formed a 60-piece orchestra. Unfortunately, due to lockdown, they were unable to attend tonight. However, we prepared for you a music video of me playing the violin in various stunning and full attractions. Thank you so much, Tati, for shooting the video, arranging, recording and editing. Really appreciate all the time you put into it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Accepting upon myself the mitzvahs of Hashem Making the world brighter once again It is my hopes to grow and mature To become stronger than ever before Following the Rebbe's directives is my goal dedicating my heart and soul thank you Hashem for everything you do and for my precious family too thanking my parents who brought me up each day guiding me to live the tire away It is my hopes to grow and mature to become stronger than ever before Following the Rebbe's directives is my goal Dedicating my heart and soul Thank you Hashem for everything you do And for my precious family too Thanking my parents who brought me up each day Guiding me to live the entire way It is my hope to grow to 
become stronger than ever before. Following the rabbit's directives is my goal. Dedicating my heart and soul. Risky go. Don't wait. Just go. What is saying? Risky go. I hope you all enjoyed that. Now I would like to perform the same song live. to be called after Rifka, one of the matriarchs, and also after the wife of the full Chabad Rebbe, Rabbi Shmuel, also known as the Maharash. It is also appropriate to mention that I was born two days after Rifki and Gabi Holtzberg, the Chabad Shokhan of Mumbai, India, were brutally murdered 12 years ago, and my parents wanted to pay respect for the holy martyr. The Torah portion this week speaks about Rifka, our matriarch, whom I am named after who waited more than 20 years for a baby, and then finally she had twins. Albeit they were twins, however, total opposites. Yaakov turned out to be a righteous one, studying the whole day, and Asa was a hunter and spent time in the field. These two brothers we can actually relate then to our very own lives. We all have moments when we are drawn to good things, and when we have, when, then we have moments when we are drawn towards the opposite. This happens to all types of people and all ages. We are faced with these challenges. We ask ourselves, am I good or bad? How can it be that one moment I'm up there and the other moment I am I'm, I'm low down? Am I normal? It reminds me of a joke concerning a thief who straight after Yom Kippur decided to repent. So he came to the rabbi's home with a sack filled with stolen goods and asked the rabbi if he could return these items to their owners as he wants to start a new chapter in his life. The rabbi was very impressed and told him that he is sure God will forgive him for his past wrongdoings. Meanwhile, once the sleep had left the, rabbi, the house of the rabbi, the rabbi noticed that his watch was missing. He went running after the thief and he asked him, how is it possible? You just did the shiva, you just repented. Why did you take my watch? The thief answered, repentance is repentance, but business is business. One can laugh when it's speaking about someone else, 
But in reality, each of us has the similar situation. Just like Rivka had two children who were total opposites, so too by us, we have two opposite souls within us. One is the animalistic soul, which is drawn to our own egos and life. In, and, life in, and the other one is the godly soul, which is drawn to spirituality. The animalistic soul is focused on oneself, on what's in it for me? What will I gain from doing something, etc.? And the godly soul is the real part of God that elevates us to higher real realms in life and meaning. Just like by Rivka, the boys were constantly fighting each other. So too, by us, our animal soul and godly soul also battle each other on a daily basis and it is a real struggle for every one of us. You might ask, why did God in the very beginning put inside us an animalistic soul, constantly seeking to fulfill our physical and worldly desires? The answer is to challenge us and elevate us to higher levels. Just like a rock in the middle of a path can trip us up or it can be used as, as, as a stepping stone to reach higher levels. I wish myself and all of you that we should always manage to see the challenges and difficulties as opportunities for a better future. I would like to thank Hashem who brought me to this special day, the Rebbe for inspiring me, my dear parents for always standing at my side with so much support and love, my dear siblings for their experiences, love and warmth warmth that we share together. Each one of you play a big part in my life. My dear grandparents, Bobby and Zeta from England and Babushka and Zeta from Israel, wishing you a good, healthy, good health, happiness, and I'm praying that we can hug each other very soon. Thank you to my uncles and aunties and all my family and friends for joining me tonight and supporting me around the year. Dear friends, I would like to introduce the one and only Hanna Lefelig. Sing along, clap, dance, and enjoy her remarkable music. All right. Am I unmuted? I don't know. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. All right. So thumbs up if you can hear me. <laughs> Broken and bent, shattered our dreams in the dust. Darkness replacing the once holy light. We can renew this lost trust. The crown of creation lay broken and bent. What once could have been is now gone, but it's in our power.
place in one's holy life Who can renew this lost trust? The crown of creation lay broken and bent What well, once could have been is now gone But it's in our power to build and carry on Oh, mother of royalty, woman of strength The message alive in your Restoring the crown to women again Mother of royalty, woman of strength You carry the promise of faith But in that you pour, will you shine evermore Restoring our crown to us again Mother of royalty, woman of strength Restore our crown to us and we'll shine once again. Yeah, yeah. Sing with me, girls. Mother of royalty, woman of strength, the message alive in your name. Revealing thy vengeance so hidden within, restoring the crown to women again. Mother of royalty, woman of strength. song yet. I even have an opportunity to say hello to all these beautiful faces around the world. Hi, girls. First of all, Rifki, where is my bus mitzvah girl? Hang on. I need to find my bus mitzvah girl because it's her special night and I am here, part of her simcha. Here she is. Oh boy, here she is. Hang on. I'm trying to open you full screen. Okay. First of all, Mazel Tov to Rifki. Thank you for inviting me to your bus mitzvah. I know that it's not, um, as close as we could probably be, but all things considered, I am happy to be part of your celebration in any way that I can. So I'm coming to you from Eretz Yisrael, where I live and love, and um, Baruch Hashem, I've been able to travel around the world the last few months. It's my second time in London, or in Liverpool, you guys are? In Liverpool. It's my second time in England, I should say. Um, I know that we should stick to songs that we can enjoy. So let's do a couple of old songs that I've recovered for a new generation. But I think that if you um, recognize these, you'll be happy to sing along. So the first song is called The Little Bird is Calling. All you have to do is sing along in the chorus. I'll take care of the rest, all right? So sing along.
right, like I said, I'm living in Eretz Israel. It's truly a dream. How many of you have been to Israel in your lives? Raise your hand if you've been to Eretz Israel. Raise your hand if you wish you were in Eretz Israel right now. So. So one of the things that I do here in Eretz Yisrael is I travel all the time. Once a week, I go on a big trip. And throughout the week, I go on a bunch of small trips. Like yesterday, for example, I drove to Ashkelon. Now, if you know the map of Israel, you'll know that Ashkelon is right near Gaza. And they're often in the line of fire when rockets get shot from our friendly cousins on the other side. So when I went, I anticipated tension maybe, you know, that feeling you have when you're far away from Eretz Yisrael, like there's so much going on over there, you were, you say to him. But when you're living here, you're just completely distracted by the beauty of Eretz Yisrael. Everywhere I go, my eyes are like popping open, popping open. The oceans, the trees, the fruits, the flavors, the holiness the miracles that happen here every single second. So I'll tell you that just like the little bird right now, we're all far away from Yerushalayim and the vultures are always, you know, flying above our heads. That's the story of the Jewish people. But like the little bird, we will be returned to Eretz Yisrael, to our nest. And then we'll be able to do a Zoom concert in person here in Beit Shemesh. Will you come to my house? Will you join me for a show? Great. Rifki, I'm going to wait for you next time you're here in Eretz Israel. We're going to sing together. All right. Here's a song that tells you how much I love Eretz Israel. It's an old Avram Fleet song.
now getting warmed up. How much more time do we have? Can we extend the Zoom? Can we make it a little longer? <laughs> also, how am I going to get a piece of birthday cake? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat some cake tonight just for you, Rifki. I'm going to celebrate your bus mitzvah in my living room with a big fat chocolate chip cupcake. Um, before I sing my next song, I am going to introduce it by telling you, what's that? My manager is, is giving me instructions from the side. My manager slash, slash wonderful husband. Um, so before I continue, I just want to tell you that, first of all, the song you just heard, you can hear um, on my Instagram. So I don't know if you have Instagram, but if you follow me, Hanala Music, all I do is share music and my Israel adventures. Like I will take you all over Eretz Israel. I've been to every single city in Israel. All my highlights are full of my Israel tours. It's Mama a blast. And then I share my music. So Hanala music. Um, my point is it's going to be 20 years since I started singing, since I released my first album. I have six of them. And um, I'm going to sing a song that I wrote 20 years ago. And when people heard it, they said, oh, Hanala is going to be a big star. And meanwhile, here I am singing at a Zumba mitzvah in London in 2020. And I have to say, this is exactly what I wanted to be doing. So thank you again for having me. And we're going to sing this song. And then we're going to go right into a beautiful set of nigunim. One sec, one sec. We have the wrong playback. Hang on. Um... Shabbos Queen knew I redid my music since 20 years ago. He was playing a track from 20 years ago, which is still nice, but you know, here we go. I do think I'm. Oh, you got it? All right, let's do it. Hang on. Do you think my mother was the Shabbos Yeah, the Shabbos Queen. Ready? She stands so regally with royal grace. Shabbos queen. You'll get married, you'll be a kawa at the right age, to the right person, you'll be a Shabbos queen in your house. Ready? Here we go. Oh, when I grow up, no matter what life brings, Hashem will give me the strength I need to handle it, and I will walk by the light of a thousand Friday nights and the sea lights of my mother moon, always had her candles lit. Oh, when I grow up, no matter what life brings, Hashem will give me the strength I need to handle it, and I will walk by the light of a thousand Friday nights and the sea lights of my mother who always had her candles lit. We're going to sing it one more time. I need everybody. 
wherever you are. You can stand up on your computer chair. You can wave your shake over your head. <laughs> you girls look so beautiful with these girls. Look at that hair. Wow. All right, you can sing with me. You ready? Here we go. When I grow up, no matter what life brings, I shall will give me the strength I need to handle it. And I will walk by the lights of a thousand Friday nights and the tea lights of my mother who always had her candles lit. One more time, here we go. Oh, when I grow up, no matter what life brings, I shall will give me the strength I need to handle it. say I am truly enjoying myself even though I'm sitting here Hang on, I'm doing that what, what happened that one? Oh, sorry okay um I feel like we could just come this all night so what we're gonna do is we're going to try to get the maximum punch in the smallest amount of time and we are going to go right into a medley of the Lubavitcher Rebbe's Nagunim. And these are my favorite songs because I'm a Lubavitcher and I grew up on these Nagunim and my Zaydi sang them at the Shabbos table. And these songs make me feel everything. So it's with a lot of simcha and a lot of, um, you, it, it, with, with a lot of joy that I ask you to sing with me as much as you can this medley of the Rebbe's Nagunim. And I want to bless the best mitzvah girl that you should grow to be a tzaddikis in your own right. You have wonderful role models to look up to. The Rebetzin, of course, your grandparents, and so many wonderful shluchais around the world. Um, and that, like the Rebbe always said, Mashiach should just appear. So let's sing this together with Kavanais and in honor of Rivki's Bas Mitzvah, Mashiach should come, and you could all come to Eretz Yisrael ASAP. Can you hear the guitar? What? Yeah. Guitar? Let me see. The mic, which one? Which track is it? Uh, the guitar is two. Do I make it here? No, those are together. Three. Doesn't make sense. Okay, here we go. Samalecha <laughs> nafshi. Come Oh, 
to you. Warm regards from Israel. Mashiach now. May we only share Simcha. Thanks so, 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 so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Hanana, for the joy that you brought to my bas mitzvah. Thanks so much. <laughs> my sister, elder sister Sarah, prepared a wonderful video of people saying Mazel Tov for me. That should have been a surprise. Um, so please look at the screen for and I should be looking at the screen for the video, so pay attention. Mazel tov rifki on your bas mitzvah. You should grow up to be a fine, good girl that gives a lot of nachas to your whole family. Throughout the years, people have celebrated bas mitzvahs in all different kinds of situations. And it really doesn't matter how big the party is, how many people attend, what the food is like, what you're wearing. The main thing is that you have reached the age of bas mitzvah, you are joining the ranks of Yiddish women all over the world and throughout the generations who are ready to dedicate their lives to the Rotson of the Eberste, the Teva and Mitzvahs. We all have a lot, a lot of nachas from you and Mazel Tov again. Being told by your mother that it's your bas mitzvah, uh, time does go very fast. It seems like no time at all since I was teaching you, but uh, life goes on and you move on and you're in the high school now. And I'm sure that you're doing really, really well. Uh, I'm sorry that nobody can be with you on this special day like we were on the previous two bas mitzvahs, 
but that's not to say that we're not thinking about you all the time and hoping that you have a lot of nachas in the future, mazel and brocha that you bring to your parents, your grandparents, all simcha, nachas, mazel and brocha. And I hope that you have a lovely evening and I look forward to being able to join you on that special day. Maybe not in person, but at least I'll be able to see what's going on. Rivke Maxima, Mazal Tov, Mazal Tov, Le Yom Agadol Vadifla, Yom Abad Mitzvah, Machelet Lach Mikol Alev and Shama, Shetigdili Kisho Shana, Amefitza etora Likola Sviva, Yehira Tson, Shediske, Shediskut Masai Hatuvim, the Carveta Gula, the Nahatruach, Arabini Sitoreno, the Kolemish Paha, or have it ad bledai. Rifki, mazel tov, our sweet best mitzvah girl who loves davening and saying to Hillem, we really wish you mazel tov. I know that this isn't how you expected your best mitzvah to be, but I'm sure that knowing you are the person that you are, you'll look back on this and say, well, it wasn't what I expected, but if the Abishta wants it to be like this, this is how it will be. Continue to bring your parents, us and the Rebbe much chassidish anachas. Continue with your violin playing. And we are all so proud of you. We love you. Happy birthday, Mazel Tov. Hi, Rifki. Your mum asked me to give you a message on your bas mitzvah. I cannot believe it's actually your bas mitzvah. I've watched you grow up from being a little baby to a little girl in early years through junior school and now in high school. It's unbelievable to watch you grow up into such a beautiful young lady that you are. Um, I don't know whether I'm giving you this Mazel Tov wishes as Antikita or as Mrs. Lewis, but either way, the message is the same. I love you from both aspects. Um, I wish you a lot of Mazel, Brocha and Atzlacha in all your work, in all you do, all you do with your parents on Schlichus out there in Liverpool. I know you all join in a very, very lot with what your parents do um, and also have a lot of fun in life, enjoy life and always get much out of it and give much back. Lerifki Amadima, a chugeget bat vitzva. Bagech le shlav miuchad ubal mashmaut, shlav mavar mialdut le narut. שלב של חוויות שבאות ומתחלפות, שלב בו משולבות זו בזו שתי התקופות. מיום זה, כל מצווה שלך מהירה באור יקרות, שתזכי להיות כשרה, רפקה, רחל ולאה עם האותינו הקדושות. מאחלת לך שברכת השם אותך תלווה בכל דרכך, מתוך אושר, בריאות והצלחה לתפארת. Ah, oh, Mazel Tov, Rifki, it's your bat mitzvah. This is so exciting. Um, I can't believe it's actually here. We've been counting this day down for like months, being like, Rifki's bat mitzvah is next. Um, I hope you have the most special and amazing uh, bat mitzvah weekend um, with your family. I want to send a huge Mazel Tov to all of you, to your friends. Um, we're over here virtually celebrating with you and for you. Um, I can't wait to see all the things you accomplish in the next few years. You really are amazing, so you're going to be amazing at whatever you, whatever you do next. You're so special, so thoughtful, you are caring and just so much fun to be around. You light up the room. Um, I can't wait to come and visit you soon. And lots of love from London and mazel tov! <laughs> להיכנסך לגיל מצוות, נאחל לך הרבה בריאות, עושר ושמחה ונחת מכל המשפט שתצליחי בלימודים ובכל התחומים ותמשיכי להיות שליחה נאמנה ומקסימה כמו שאת ולהפיץ את תורת החסידות ברבים ולקרב לבבות אוהבים אותך, משפחת שפרי, בני ברק Happy birthday, Rifki, on your bas mitzvah. You should have all the brachas from Aleph to Tav and year full of bracha v'atzlacha. You should continue to give your parents loads of nachas and you should celebrate your bas mitzvah the first with Mashiach Bikenu. Mazel Tov. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rifki. Happy 
happy birthday to happy boss mitzvah Rivki. Love you, miss you. Hi Rivki, happy birthday. You make everything so cheerful with you and you should continue doing that. You should have a year full of mazel and bracha and you should just have the best year and have everything you want, all the brackets from after top. Mazel tov Rivki! Mazel tov Rivki! L'chaim! We miss you, we love you and have an extra l'chaim for us! Sorry we can't be with you my bubble love! Miss you, bye! bye. Mazel tov Rivki! You should have all the brackets yeah. and you should bring Mashiach! Mazel tov! Hi Rivki! Mazel tov on your best friends! <laughs> It's been amazing being able to be with you while you grow up. So many memories. You're an amazing girl. I want to wish you all the brachas. And I miss you. Lechivki shalano haova. Lagila mitzvah tegat. Megil hagan anachno itach. Ve itach kathleno kol tekat. Ano hotat leshloch lach bracha. Amnam ktara avol moila. תמשיכי להיות כמו שאת מקסימה, כי זה טוב לך, לנו ולסביבה. מאכלות לך שתהיה שנה מקסימה. אהובה טריקי ומושקי. I wish you a wonderful bat mitzvah. I really really miss you. I hope you're having a marvelous week. Despite the lockdown, I hope you had a good time with your family. You had a little dance and you saw your friends on Zoom. You had a little dance and... Uh, I hope you are doing well and that school is going okay with everything. Happy birthday, Rifke. I love you. Hi, Rifke. Mazel tov on your bat mitzvah. The biggest, biggest mazel tov. I'm so sorry we can't all be there to celebrate. I'm sure we would have all had the most amazing time in the biggest party. Um, I'm really looking forward to when we can all be back in Liverpool and we can all properly celebrate with you because we'll have the best time ever. Um, but I'm sure you'll have an amazing day with your family anyway. Hi, Rifke. Mazel tov on your bat mitzvah. You should have um, everything that you want or you need and you should be in front line to be the Shiach. Hi Rivki, Mazel Tov on your bat so I can't believe it's already here. It's been so lovely getting to see you grow up over the past three years. It makes me feel so old. Um, but I hope the year ahead brings health, happiness and success in everything that you do. And I can't wait to see all the great things I know you're going to achieve. And I'm so sad I can't be there in person to celebrate. I miss you so much. But hopefully I'll be able to come and visit soon. And a massive mazel tov from my family to you. Mazel tov Rivka and your bas mitzvah. May I have mazel, hatzlacha and bracha in everything you do. May you go mechayel lachayel and give directly your parents a lot of nachas. <laughs> Hi Rifki! Hey. Mazel tov! We just wanted to say mazel tov to you for your bat mitzvah. We so miss excited. you so much and we're so excited to see you again. And, and spend Shabbat with you. Yeah, and we hope that everything's good and that you enjoy the celebrations. You have and a great day, yeah, everything, only good things. Mazel tov! רבקי היקרה, שיהיה המון המון מזל טוב לרגל הבת מצווה, יום הולדת 12, אוהבים ומתגעגעים מאוד מאוד, שולחים הרבה נשיקות מישראל. Happy birthday, Rifki, on your bus mitzvah. So you should have all the brachas from Aleph to Tov and give nachas to your parents. Enjoy this special day of your bus mitzvah. Happy bus mitzvah! Mazal tov, Rifki. Maxima. Shelach batzlacha bekol ma shatosa. Arbe nachat la orim ve shetam tetzlichi ba negina shelach ve shetavoy levaker otanu. אנחנו מתגעגעים אלייך ושמחים תמיד לראות אותך ואת כל המשפחה 
ואיזה כיף לראות שאת כל כך גדולה ובוגרת, ומחכים לך, <מח> אנחנו, מזל טוב מההורים שלי, גם מכל האחים שלי, מזל טוב לך, להורים, צביה ושמוליק ולכל המשפחה. מזל טוב. מזל. מזל טוב רבי אוניה בס מצווה. Thanks so much to everyone took the time to take those videos. They were a very, very big surprise. And thanks so much to Sara for spending loads of time on it, putting it together and everything. And we have prepared for you a Kahoot game, and it'll be lots of fun. Thank you so, so much, Ms. Weinberg, for putting it together. The mic is over to you now, Ms. Weinberg. <laughs> Hi, big muzzles of Rifki. Um, can you all hear me? Yeah, we on? Excellent. First of all, huge muzzles of Rifki. It's so nice to hear um, everything you had to share with us tonight. Really, really beautiful to be part of it. So for those of you who haven't yet played a Kahoot game, um, I'm going to share my screen. The questions will come up from my screen and you are going to need either a second device or um, to have two things open on your computer to be able to play. So the questions will come up on my screen and you'll be able to choose the answer from your second device or from your um, computer screen. So here we go. If you go on to www.kahoot.it and put in this game pin, we'll see you come up on our screen. Okay, we have 22 players. We'll just wait another minute for anyone to get on before we start the game. Okay, 29 players, we'll wait a few more seconds, and yes, the numbers are going up. You just need to go on to www.kahoot.it and enter in the pin that Everyone, you see you on my on, screen. Everyone, come on, just work hard on this. <laughs> <laughs> אנחנו משחקים קהוט, אז כולם יכולים לבוא, לך לקהוט.it
Okay, if anyone's not that managed to go on, you're still trying to get on, you'll be able to join even once the game has started. So I'm going to start the game and keep trying to get on if you haven't yet. You'll be able to join from wherever we're up to. Are we ready? Our first question is, when was Rifki born? to find the correct answer which is Dalit Kislev 5769 with Leia Bucket in the lead and Monsieur not far behind. Are we ready for our second question? Here we go. How old was Rifki when she moved to Liverpool? We have a time limit of 30 seconds to find the answer. And the correct answer is that Rifki was two years old when she moved to Liverpool. Well done, everyone who got that right. Okay, question number three. How many cities has Rifki lived in? cities Manchester, Liverpool and where she was born in Brussels. Well done, we have Monsieur rising to the top of our scoreboard and Ricky just behind her. Question number four, how many times has Rifki been to Israel? And 10 of you managed to find the correct answer, which is, believe it or not, Rifki of 12 years of old of age has been to Israel 11 times. Very lucky girl she is. And Monsieur is still at the top. Dorelea Kin looks like it's coming right behind her. Let's see who can make it up there. Question number five. What time does Rifki get up on a school morning? <laughs> Ten seconds left, given your answer. And our correct answer is at seven o'clock, Grifki gets up nice and early to be able to be in school on time. Which leads us into our next question. How long was the longest journey home from Manchester to Liverpool for Rifki? Was it four and a half hours, five hours, three hours and 45 minutes, or five and a half hours? Give a guess. The 
correct answer is, believe it or not, Rifki won't sign a car for five and a half hours on the way home from Manchester. Okay, we have Ricky and Rifki's big sister coming up behind Messi on the school board here. Let's see who could get for number seven. How many miles has Rifki traveled altogether to and from Manchester in the last 10 years? Five seconds left. The correct answer is 130,256 miles. That is a grand total over there. Well done, Monsieur, for managing to keep up in the school board right there at the top. Question number eight. How many Banas Khabar programs has Rifki managed to go to this year? And we have our answer of four programs with a lot of determination. Rifki has managed to make it to four grand programs of Manas Khabad, despite having to travel backwards and forwards and all the extra hardships that Corona brings of not being able to go to friends' houses. And we have Musya still up there with 4,094 points. Just a few questions left. Number nine, what's Rifki's favorite color? Hey, nine of you know Rifki well. Rifki's favorite colors are turquoise and maroon. We're learning new things about Rifki over here. Oh, it seems like her sisters know her the best. Okay, number 10. How many times did the Brown family have to change the program for Rifki's best mitzvah during Corona? seconds to give your answer and four times was the program changed to bring us to this beautiful beautiful night of this beautiful zoom event where we can all celebrate together with Rifki we're so happy that you managed to find it all right Question number 11. Which special date in Kislev is Rifki's birthday closest to? Five seconds to give an answer. And yes, the correct one is Rish Chedesh Kislev. We just had it four days ago, the day that the Lubavitcher Rebbe managed to come home after he suffered from a heart attack. 
And we have Joel at the top, Rifki, and then your Pixis, which, if I'm not mistaken, I have a feeling might be Toba coming up, climbing in third place. Okay, our last question. Rifki's birthday is 10 days before the wedding anniversary of who? In just 10 days time. That is correct. Rabbi Menachem Mendel and Rabbi Zanchai Mishka Shnison, the Rebbe and Rabbi Zan of our generation's wedding anniversary is in just 10 days' time on Yud Dalad Kislev. Well done. Are we ready to see our podium? Coming up in third place, we have Rifki. And your big sis Toba in second place with first place leading us with Joel. Well done to everyone who participated. We have Mustia as a runner up and someone who decided to remain anonymous in fifth place. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining our game at Rifki's Last Minute tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.